coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Treatment services for individuals dealing with mental health concerns are in demand across the province. And the government of Saskatchewan has invested $4.2 million. In Swift Current, the team will include three registered psychiatric nurses, an occupational therapist, social worker, addictions counsellor and a team lead. As we look forward to spring's official arrival on March 20th, the Saskatchewan Water Security Agency has released its outlook for spring runoff across the province, with lower than normal conditions expected for southwest Saskatchewan. And patrons of the Blender series were recently treated to the music of recording artist Mariel Buckley. Thanks for joining us here today. The government of Saskatchewan is investing more money into mental health programming. We have more in today's top story. Treatment services for individuals dealing with mental health concerns are in demand across the province. And the government of Saskatchewan has invested $4.2 million for the launch of several new community recovery teams. In Swift Current, the team will include three registered psychiatric nurses, an occupational therapist, social worker, addictions counsellor and a team lead. An overall team approach, which will benefit mental health clients based on their personal requirements for care, while offering a more inclusive community approach. We'll be able to provide untraditional services. So historically, services were provided in an office setting. What the community recovery team allows us to do is to actually go out to the community to go and meet up with these folks uh, going out for coffee to establish relationships to develop our goals and and have our consumers defining what their goals are defining what their limitations are enhanced services which coincide with the needs of a growing clientele across the southwest Intake is seeing about 3,000 requests for service a year. So in light of that and in light of the increased demand for more specialized services, part of the modernization of mental health is that we had to start service matching. We have to start looking at a stepped care approach. Part of the work of this team is actually to prevent hospitalizations, to get to people before they have to go to the emergency room or to the hospital. A commitment to health care, which government officials say is part of a long-term plan provincially. It's about putting the patients first and uh, providing the best possible services. And, and what's interesting, I think, about this, and this has probably been in the works for, uh, for quite some time now, but what's interesting about it is the, the flexibility it provides uh, for each of the teams in the specific communities. They have the ability to adapt uh, to their community's needs. The new community recovery teams are based out of Swift Current, Moose Jaw, Saskatoon, Regina, Prince Albert, North Battleford, Yorkton and Weyburn. The Water Security Agency has released its annual spring runoff forecast and we find out what it means for Southwest Saskatchewan in this report. As we look forward to spring's official arrival on March 20th, the Saskatchewan Water Security Agency has released its outlook for spring runoff across the province, with lower than normal conditions expected for Southwest Saskatchewan. Meanwhile, areas west of Prince Albert, spanning to Lloyd Minster and Cold Lake, should expect an above normal runoff due to wetter conditions that freeze up in 2018 and above normal snowpack through the winter season. The Water Security Agency will continue to keep a close watch on spring runoff conditions across the province and provide any updates in the coming weeks. The short-term weather forecast for southwest Saskatchewan is calling for sunshine and seasonal temperatures. The Blender series and Swift Current continues to be a drawing card for Canadian musicians. And in this report, we spotlight Mariel Buckley. 
Live music is a long-standing tradition many enjoy, and patrons of the Blender series were recently treated to the music of recording artist Muriel Buckley. The Calgary-based singer-songwriter is taking to the stage across the country for the Rhinestones in the Rough Tour, which included Swift Current as one of the 14 scheduled shows. And one of her most recognizable songs is her 2018 breakout hit, Rose-Colored Frames. A song that has gained Mariel an outlet to a national audience, thanks to her marketing team and CBC Radio. It just sort of increases your visibility from, uh, and I mean college radio is really where everybody gets their start and I've had lots of support from so many great college stations, but CBC being a national station and taking that song onto its top 20 chart, it just was able to put it in front of so many more people. Um, in a short period of time, so it, it was really helpful to, to me. Just And I've had more people coming to shows, even just being like, oh, I heard you on CBC with that song. Um, so it's pretty great. Having grown up in a musical family with her dad playing in the symphony, she says it was only natural for her to follow a similar path while listening to various influential artists over the years. It changed so much. Like I, I didn't really even get into country and folk until I was in my early 20s. But I mean, it was it was always kind of, at first it was people like Neil Young and Tom Petty and Bob Dylan and uh, the Jayhawks and stuff like that. And then over the years, it's kind of evolved into more, a lot of female influences. Yeah, I've seen your daddy's guns. It's sort of Kathleen Edwards and, and Katie Lang and uh, yeah, like the weather station is a really good contemporary example. There's just a lot of, um, yeah, I'm influenced by a lot of stuff for sure. And with two CDs released since 2012, Mariel is set to expand her audience base with a performance at the Winnipeg Folk Festival later this year and the release of several new solo singles this summer. All the while actively honing her songwriting skills with songs that appeal to a range of audiences. In this genre of kind of singer-songwriter country folk, there's a lot of room for polished singers and polished songwriters. And I just don't really find myself fitting into that category. I find it to be a little more edgy, a little more honest, maybe a little more truthful or dark. I don't know, maybe that's just what I think. You're supposed to hold up a mirror for the world to see themselves and for you to see yourself. And I think that if you're doing a good job with your art, people will respond to that and feel like they see themselves in your music or vice versa. They get to know a little bit of you. So I just try to be very like forthcoming when I write so that people feel like they can connect. And now with another tour date on the record books for Mariel Buckley and a welcoming stage at the Lyric Theatre, Southwest Saskatchewan residents are encouraged to explore additional Blender's performances. I think it's really important for people to remember that it only happens in their community when they participate, when they come out and they support it. That's how we keep it going. Don't take it for granted. Come out, support the music, let us bring the music to you and we all have a great time, and we all have a great community for it. The Blender series runs September through May at the Lyric Theatre in Swift Current, with a full schedule of shows online. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.